If you're interested in building an A-frame and you're trying to figure out how to do the rough-in, which is your windows, your doors, your insulation, your electrical and plumbing, you're going to want to watch this video. So right here is one of the windows we just installed. It is a five by five window. Now these are very unique sizes. Most windows come in rectangles and squares. This is a triangle. So you're not gonna get it at Home Depot or Lowe's. You're gonna have to go to a specialty provider. If you go through Home Depot and Lowe's, you're gonna be paying too much money. It's important to seal your windows properly. So right here we have our flashing tape, our OSI quad max, as well as our nails spaced out really well. You don't wanna have rain issues. When it comes to the insulation, right here we did some bat foam insulation. There's a few different options. You can use rock wool, which I would consider a level up from this. And then the best grade of insulation is really gonna be a closed cell spray foam. For a unit like this, I'd probably recommend about three inches. It's gonna give you an R value of R21 and make sure that place is really well insulated even in the winter months. Now you also want to make sure that you insulate the underside of your unit. You don't want that cold air creeping up and making it less efficient. When it comes to the entry door, you can use a standard size entry door. So right here, this is a 36 inch by 80 inch door. It's an outswing door, which I do recommend. It's gonna create more space on your interior. And we went with a three light modern entry door. That helps because it's such a small space, it allows more natural light in and opens up the space. For the electrical, it's a really simple setup considering it's a really tiny space. So there's only 30 amps of power they're gonna run to this. Uh, it's very similar to a small RV. There's a total of five outlets and one light switch. So you don't need a ton of power. You can run this on 110 volt like this unit in particular, or if you need to be more energy efficient, you can incorporate some 12 volt appliances and outlets as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video going over how we do the rough in on an A-frame tiny cabin. We put together a freebie for you. It's our jumpstart guide. It's gonna help you if you're interested in building your own A-frame or you just wanna have one on your property. It's gonna help you by providing you some basic plan sets that you can work from, a budgeting blueprint, and a step-by-step -step guide in order to get you started. Please let us know in the comments below what other questions you want us to address and I'll catch you on the next video.